God bless each and one of you. Let's pray together. God, I present to you all these people who is watching this that may have mercy upon each and one of them. Lord God, show them your gratefulness, Lord God, and forgive them for all their sins, Lord Jesus. Please guide them to the way you want them to go, Lord Jesus. Let them know that you are always with them, Lord God. Let them know that you will never forget them nor forsake them. Let them know that the door is open now, Lord Jesus, for them to come to you. Lord God, you have said all who are weary and burdened to come to me for I will give you peace. Lord God, we believe it. We believe it in all of our heart that you are coming back again, Lord Jesus. Praise be your holy name, Lord Jesus. In the name of God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit, amen. God bless each and one of you. Um, everyone turn to me, John chapter 1. John chapter 1. In the name of God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit, amen. In the beginning, the word was already there. The Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. All things were made through Him. Nothing that has been made was made without Him. Life was in Him, and that life was the light for all people. The light shines in the darkness, but the darkness has not overcome the light. There is a man sent from God. His name was John. He came to be a witness about that light. He was a witness so that all people might believe. John himself was not the light. He came only as a witness to the light. The true light that gives light to everyone was coming into the world. The word was in the world. And the world was made through him. But the world did not recognize him. He came to what his own. But his own people did not accept him. Some people did accept him and did believe in his name. He gave them the right to become children of God, to be a child of God. Has nothing to do with human parents. Children of God are not born because of human choice or because a husband wants them to be born. They are born because of what God does. The word became a human being. He made his home with us. We have seen his glory. It is the glory of the one and only who came from the Father. And the world and the Word was full of grace and truth. John was a witness about the Word. John cried out and said, This was the one I was talking about. I said, He who comes after me is more important than I am. He is more important because he existed before I was born. God is full of grace. From him we have all received grace, and in place of grace already given. In the past, God gave us grace through the law of Moses. Now grace and truth come through us, come to us through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God, but the one and only is God, and that is at the Father's side. The one at Father's side has shown us what God is like. Amen. God bless each and one of you. Um, the word was always with God. In Genesis chapter 1, let's actually go to Genesis chapter 1. It says, in the beginning. Okay? It says, in the name of God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit, amen. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth didn't have any shape, and it was empty. There was darkness over the surface of the waves. At that time, the Spirit of God was hovering over the waters. That was verse 1 and verse 2 I read of Genesis chapter 1. Brothers and sisters, God was always there. He has no beginning, neither does he have any end. He was always there. He is ancient of days. He made us, which has a beginning and an end. But he's preparing a place for each and one of us to be living everlasting with him. Jesus Christ died on the cross so that we could ask our Father in heaven for forgiveness, but also to have a relationship with him so that we could come to know who the Father is. Because Jesus came to the earth to show the example and also to show how we're supposed to walk in this road 
to um, everlasting life with our Father in Heaven. We got to keep spreading the gospel of everyone to let them know that there is only one God and He's coming to pick up His people. And those who receive the word, um, I pray that they accept Christ as their Lord and only Savior so that they could also be with us in at everlasting life. Now, people think they got to follow a bunch of things and all that. It's not true. The, all you got to do is accept Christ as your Lord and Savior and um, let the Lord direct and show you the way so that he could be your teacher and you could be learning the ways of your Father in Heaven so that he could show you how to live life because God is the one. He, Jesus said, "He, I am the way, the truth, and the light. We go by what the word says. How we know if a preacher is preaching the truth is it will be according to the Bible. The word of God. The Bible is not just a book. It's not even a book. I don't look at it as a book, but I look at it as the words of God. Every time when God speaks, it comes from the word. Every time when God uses somebody, it's supposed to be from the word. And the reason why a lot of people don't notice false prophets or false teachers nowadays is because the word sounds good. But we have to um, see what the word says. And God is always going to speak to a person with love. But it, he isn't just going to say the good things, but also like the sin. And he's also going to say the harmful things, you know, of the world. He is going to talk to you about the harsh things. And sometimes the truth does hurt us, but it's better to know the truth than to be stuck in a world of a lie. The world is actually full of darkness, and the only thing that's light is Jesus Christ. Amen, brothers and sisters? So, we follow the word, and we follow the voice of God. And if it's not the voice of God, I tell you, rebuke all the demons in the name of Jesus, because we follow Jesus and nothing else. Amen? God bless each one of you, and remember that Jesus loves you.